Let's take a look at this problem. We got uh, two fifths minus four. Well, first thing I notice is we're subtracting fractions, but both of them are not fractions. So I'm going to rewrite the four as four over one. They have different denominators. So our first step, we want to figure out what the LCD is, the least common denominator, and then rewrite each fraction with that. So we've got the least common denominator of 5 and 1. Now um, we write prime factorization of each one down. Now 5 is just, it's already prime, so it's 5. And 1 is not a prime, but it's a pretty trivial number, so we, we just write 1. And our LCD. I could put one in there if I wanted to. We're looking for greatest number of ones on any single line. Um, go to my next prime five. We're looking for the greatest number of fives on any single line. There's one here, none here, so it's one five. So our LCD will be five. What you'll find is if you have two denominators and one of them is one, the other one is actually your LCD. So I want to rewrite each fraction with that new denominator. Now our first fraction uh, already had the five, so it stayed as is. Now our second fraction. You ask what uh, we started with one, we end up with five. You ask what did you multiply times one that gave you five? One multiplied it by five, so we have to multiply the top part by five. Again, whatever you multiply by the bottom, you have to multiply by the top. So we've got two fifths minus four times five is twenty over five. Now they have the same denominator, so step two: add or subtract the top parts. So we got 2 minus 20 over 5, which gives us negative 18 over 5. Now there's no simplifying to do on this one, so we don't have to do step 3. And negative 18 fifths is our answer.